All right, so I'm gonna start with this dope sample I found. Cool, and I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. I'm just gonna, you know, play it a little bit, make it mine. So I'm gonna keep it right there because 90 is a BPM I typically like to work in. And uh, I'm gonna start chopping it a little bit now, just kind of see what I come up with. Boom. <laughs> You know what? I decided to just use the auto mark. Love it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw these in a mute group. And what that does is that it kind of um, it cuts off one sample when you play the next sample. So you can kind of get a cleaner performance out of what you're doing. Boom. Excellent. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna start looking for other sounds. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna start listening to drum loops, things like that, and just kind of make things fit. See, see what comes together. I got a really great sample pack from Splice called Breakbeat. Look it up. Definitely like that one. I'm gonna take that one too, just to be safe. It's a cool drum sound. And then what I like to do also is I like to find like a cool drum fill, and um, and and just so you can kind of create some like uh, a little bit of a transition when you're when you're uh, I don't know changing sections of the song. You know I like both of those. I'm gonna take them both just to be safe. And then uh, another thing I like to do is I like to find almost random noises just to see what's there. You know like. Uh, you know, I don't know if random's the right word, but I like to just, after I pick drums that I like, uh, I I end up just seeing what else, just what else is there. Um, I, I tend to keep my memory cards super jam-packed with samples. That way I always have something to work on while I'm uh, doing something. Die in that trap. Die, die, die in that trap. I like that one. Uh, that one's from Vintage Vocals from Splice. Super top tier again. Wash it, wash it. So I'm going to put all those drums in a mute group now just so uh, I can kind of freely play them. And then I'm also going to put those scratches in their own mute group. So now I'm just going to, what I do next is I kind of just play with sounds, see what works, see what doesn't. And uh, yeah. Die in that trap. Die in that Oh yeah, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna start messing with volumes of things, making sure things kind of fit together well. Now that I found all the sounds I like and I kind of like have a general direction of what I'm doing, I'm going to um, start making some actual loops now in the sequencer on the MK2. Boom. So for the first sequence, I'm going to keep it real simple. I'm just going to put the original sample there.
And then uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of scratchy scratches, why not? Cool. So that's what the, the first loop sounds like. Recording the next part of the beat right now. Um, I got like an easy little intro. I laid my drums down for the second part of my beat. So I'm just going to lay down some chops on that one. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna do like, uh, I don't want it to just do that for 32 bars straight, so I'm gonna add some variation now into a, um, a separate pattern. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna keep that same drum fill and then just kind of chop differently though. Yeah, easy enough, easy enough. Um, now I'm gonna make another pattern now. Boom. I'm gonna change the drums up a little bit though. So that's just one of my beat making processes. Um, you know, so here's the final beat. This is a real simple one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Die, 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 die.